I'm going to do a angle beam calibration uh, using a rhombus block. The equipment I have today is the Olympus Epic 1000 IUT machine. I'm using a 45 degree um, screw on wedge, a GE two and a quarter half inch diameter um, transducer, and of course I put coupling between uh, the wedge and transducer and screwed it down. And then I'm going to use the rhombus block to calibrate with and to check um, the angle of my transducer. And the rhombus block uh, can be calibrated using a 1 inch and a 4 inch reflector. Here's the zero marking machined on the, on the block. From the zero we have 1 inch going to um, the uh, this radius is 1 inch this radius is two inches. So I would put my transducer on here and what I'll see, I will see a one inch and a five inch reflector. Uh, uh, pardon me, I'm sorry. A one inch and a four inch reflector. Because the sound goes, there's one, that I'll get that reflector, that radius, one plus two is three plus one more is four. So it comes up one and four inch. So I want to take a little bit of DB out here to bring my uh, my one inch radius down to a manageable um, uh, where I can see it on my screen. Let me take out some DB. And, and using the peak memory on this machine I can slide that transducer back and forth and see where that signal peaks. And right there is the peak of my signal. So I'm going to turn off the peak memory. So again, the peak, this zero marking is the beam index point. And I put a piece of uh, masking tape on my wedge and I transferred that zero marking to my wedge. And that's your beam index point. All your measurements are taken from that beam index point. And the beam index point, that is where the majority of the energy coming out and receiving back to that transducer. I'm going to take that one inch radius, move it to 80% full screen height, auto cal. I'm going to cal my cal mode is sound path and it says cal zero, cal velocity. I'm going to press the P3 which is my cal zero and I'm going to tell the machine uh, what uh, sound path that is. It's a one inch sound path. Just that. One inch, hit the check button, and then I have to move my gate over to capture my four inch radius. And by the way, while we're calibrating, there's a there's kind of a dialog box over here. It says CAL, C-A-L, and that means I'm in the middle of calibration. When I'm calibrated, we'll see that disappear. Let me take that 4-inch radius, that 4-inch reflector, up to 8% full screen height. Now I'm going to press P2, which is my CAL velocity. Press that, and now tell the machine that that is a 4-inch radius, or a 4-inch sound path. And we'll hit the check mark and it will calculate. Calibration is done. Move my gate over. This should be a four inch radius. And my sound path is indeed four inches. Bring it over this one inch uh, reflector. Take that to 8% full screen height. And it is indeed one inch. Now, I've calibrated the machine. Let's measure the angle. And the way we measure the angle is on the rhombus block we have zero degrees to 60 degrees on this line. What we'll do, we're trying to hit this side drilled hole. And that reading where our beam, beam index point is, that will tell us um, what our angle is. There's also a 60 to 70 degree here so if you had a larger angle, 
you would shoot it down this way. But first let me take the range and, and knock it down about, oh, let's take it down about an inch and a half because I don't need a whole lot of screen. I just want to give us enough uh, screen so you can see it, enough latitude. So um, here's my beam index point. Here's the 45 beam index point, 45 degree angle. I'm going to uh, put it right near there. I should see a reflector. I do have... I'm seeing a reflector right here. That guy coming up. Let me take him up to 8% full screen height. And uh, there he is right there. That's side drilled hole. So let me hit the peak memory. And uh, I go back and forth. Whoops, I slipped. Peak memory. I move that back. And... Um, this, by the way, this is just a mode converter signal. This is the actual signal that I'm looking for. Let me take that down a little bit. And let me again hit peak memory and try to peak this guy up. There he is right there. He's peaking. And at that point, I will look down here and measure my angle. And my B minute index point that's marked on here lines right up with the 45 degrees so this uh this guy is definitely a uh, 45 degree wedge so i don't have to make any changes to my uh, trig function if the angle was off slightly change your angle here in your trig function that way all your calculations will turn out correct